Good morning, dogs. FASPA, Fortissimo Editions, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, the second event of FAFSA Completion Night is this Wednesday the 15th. If you're planning to attend trade school, community college, or university, you will need to fill out the form whether you're eligible or not for scholarships and student loans. The event will be held at FHS 4 to 7 p.m. If you need a list of documents, please see Mrs. Words and Student Services. Tomorrow is auditions for Fortissimo right after school. All students wanting to audition will need to prepare a verse and a chorus from two contrasting songs. There will be a dance portion as well, so they should bring a change of clothes for that. Now, to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Any returning girls soccer player and any girl that is interested in playing next fall need to swing by Coach Field's room in 147 to grab a spring workout schedule and sign up for a reminder. Also, today is the first official track practice. All track athletes not in a winter sport need to meet on the stage by the athletic training room at the end of the day. And anyone interested in managing for the track team needs to see Coach Byers in room 123. Now, let's take a quick break and send it to your weather man. Thanks, Nelson, and welcome back, dogs. For the weather today, it's a high of 53 and a low of 31. It's supposed to be sunny today, dogs, so enjoy it. But that's all for weather. Now back to Nelson. Thanks, weather man. On Friday, the boys basketball team hosted the North Montgomery Chargers for homecoming. The dogs pre rode over the Chargers 49-35, and congratulations to Victor Cruz on winning big men on campus and Celeste Rodriguez on winning homecoming queen. Then on Saturday, the boys hosted the McCutcheon Mavericks. The dogs went blow for blow with the Mavericks, but eventually came out on top, winning 56-45. to The boys are back in action here at home tomorrow against Carroll. The game will begin at 6 with a JV start and a varsity follow. Now to the main story. On Friday, the 10th, the YMCA ballers were criminally robbed in front of over 500 students. The game began with a horrible tip-off by the ref passing the ball to the staff team, and from there it was lights out, as the ref, who shall not be named, obviously made good money that night, blowing the whistle left and right to horrible calls. Maybe the guy needs some glasses. He ended up causing the YMCA ballers what should have been a blowout victory. The final score was 19-16, to with Matt Crawford popping his hamstring. Hopefully next time... We have a better ref that knows the game of basketball. Anyways, that's all for sports. Now, I'll send it back to your hosts. Thanks, Nelson. The Frankfurt Science Olympian team completed at the Bloomington Regional Competition over the weekend. The team participated in 22 of the 23 events and won medals in 13 of those events, qualifying them for the state competition in March. Way to go, Science Olympians. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2 is chicken nuggets, in line 3 is salad bar, and in line 4 is assorted stuffed crust pizza. A special happy birthday goes out to Anae Gomez and Umbrio Hernandez Jimenez. And that's it for today's announcement. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day, dogs.